Greetings, Rick Ma here. You know, Patrick Redford asked if I would spend a bit of time talking about his, uh, his, his new book and his book prior to this called Temporarily Out of Order. And uh, dude, I can't do this, man. I can't. I mean, I'm more than happy to talk about the books. They're great. But I can't do this here. I just can't. We'll figure something out and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back. Sorry about all of that. Uh, I'm now sitting in front of my shower curtain. And we're here to talk about Patrick's books. You know, Temporarily Out of Order, which is fabulous. And the new one, Slightly Out of Order, which is equally phenomenal. And I gotta tell you, if you are a card worker at all, you need both of these books. You really do. And, and I say that because the thinking behind them is more important than the tricks themselves or, or the methods. The thinking is what's going to actually take you to the next level. But you know, I've been a guy that's talked about linear and non-linear learning for years. And let me explain what that means. You know, I'm not traditionally a stack guy. I'm not even a card guy any longer. I really haven't done card stuff for years. And yet, I study Patrick's material dedicatedly. And the reason for that is, I learn all about his construction, his structure, his economy of method. All of the things that he builds inside of his pieces teach me how to do what I do better. And I consider a lot of that non-linear learning because I'm not learning how to do specific things that I do as a creator or performer. I'm learning from an artist that does something completely different. I mean, I've told people for years, if you really want to become a better magician, a better mentalist, a better performer in general, you should be studying actors. You should be studying painters, songwriters, musicians, pastry chefs, any type of great artist. And then from there, you learn how to translate their passions, their techniques, their skills, all of their abilities. You learn how to translate those things into what you do. And that makes you a more versatile creator, a more versatile performer, and certainly a more versatile magician or mentalist in our, in our case. So I actually think that it's really essential. In, in, in fact, to give you an idea, I like to think outside the box in all cases. The reason I couldn't shoot this video downstairs, everybody is shooting home videos nowadays and they're all sitting in front of their bookcases for goodness sake. Every single one of them. It's become so pedestrian, it's become so expected, it's so cliche that I refuse to do that. Although I have to admit it's a little bit tough for me because I have bookcases literally in every room in my house. And so it's tough not to sit in front of a bookcase. But I wanted to think outside the box. I wanted to think differently and not be seated in front of a bookcase like every other person that's being interviewed or being in front of a camera in their homes. So this was my way of saying, think outside the box, do something different. Uh, you know what, hey, honey, do you have, uh, th that book I was telling you about, it's on the third shelf back there on the far left. You have that back there? That's Patrick's book. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Uh, this is the first one, it's called Temporarily Out of Order. And I gotta tell you, uh, first off, if any of you guys have tips about how to keep your shower uh, bookshelves drier other than just these plastic bags, please let me know because this is becoming a, a little bit of a nuisance. But uh, this is the first book you have to get. It's excellent. But I gotta tell you, the stuff I've already seen from Slightly Out of Order, man, it's just earth shattering. So my recommendation, buy this one today and pre-order the other one at the same time. You won't, uh, you won't regret it. So I got stuff to do. I'm going to run. You have yourself a great night.